Do you want me to read you a story? Here, this one's your favorite. Once upon a time, in a kingdom far from home, lived a little pixie. All her little life, the little pixie wanted nothing more than to go on one big adventure. One day, all the creatures in the realm were sad because the sun had ceased its sparkling shine. So the little pixie decided to travel across the land on a thrilling adventure to bring back the sun. In the Garden of Eternity, she encountered an ancient guardian. He promised to grant her one wish if she could traverse the land, climb to the top of Mount Vale, and reach the blessed summit of the wolf. But the journey would be long and hard. First, she traveled to Circlewood Forest. There, she befriended the suspicious scions and taught them not to fear strangers. She next traveled to the Caves of the Forgotten, where she taught the logical spring eagles to appreciate art. In Moonlit Marsh, she encountered a lonely warlock and taught him the power of friendship. Near her destination was Scarwood Keep, where a large and terrifying dragon was terrorizing the villagers. But the little pixie scared off the dragon, and so the villagers were safe. Exiting the keep, the little pixie arrived at her destination, Mount Vale, where she began her long and arduous climb. Finally, the little pixie stepped to the top of the mountain and reached the summit of the wolf. And what gift do you wish me to bestow upon you? asked the guardian. I wish for the sun to be free, answered the little pixie. And so her wish was granted. The sun shone in the sky once more. and the little pixie was able to bring bright light back into the kingdom. All the creatures rejoiced, and the little pixie lived happily ever after. The end. I'm too old for that book, you know. It was your favorite when you were a child. I'm not a little girl anymore, in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> You're right. You're certainly not. Forgive a father's nostalgia. Good night, my little pixie. Good night, Daddy. I was flying through a living forest, unrestricted by body or mind. As I soared past the tree line and up to the horizon, I knew I was 
free. I felt the heat of warm summer rays shine down upon my skin, followed by the soft tickle of wet grass on my bare arms. Joy bathed the corners of my lips, and comforting daylight irresistibly slipped back my eyelids. No sun. This all seemed so familiar, so why couldn't I remember it? I was sitting in a majestic ethereal garden. A beautiful angelic woman stood before me, smiling with unconditional maternal love. Greetings, Ophelia. Welcome to the Garden of Eternity. Step forward so we may speak. This garden is beautiful, miss. The Garden of Eternity is my home, as it is home to all goddesses. It exists outside of time and space. Only the purest may enter this hollowed place. Its waters flow into your world, filling it with life. Here you will find safety and comfort. For no harm shall come to you whilst you remain within these walls. Forgive me, but how do you know my name? I know all who walk this path, my child. You are young Ophelia of the Cathergy tribe. Like all pixies, you have pointed ears and live in the forest. I'm confused. Why are you calling me a pixie? Because that is what you are, child. Pixies live in small tribes throughout the forest. While each tribe has its own customs and beliefs, all pixies follow the path of nature. Females tend to be friendly, gentle, and kind. Males, however, are aggressive hunters who track wild game through the forest for sport. That doesn't sound very nice. It often isn't, especially when the hunted are sentient, benevolent creatures. So, I'm not human? Do you feel human? No, no, I don't suppose I do. I've always felt different. May I ask how I got here, to this garden? The same way all do, young one, through turmoil and pain. Turmoil and pain? I'm afraid so, child. You were attacked by a malevolent beast. I brought you here so that you could recover and heal. I, I was the victim of an attack? Not a victim, a survivor. But I don't feel hurt. Not all attacks are solely physical, young one. 
If I was attacked, then why don't I remember it? You will when the time is right and when you are ready. If I may ask, who are you? I am the goddess Adina, overseer and protector of this world. A goddess? I thought goddesses only existed in mythology. It is as it is, child. I, like the others of my kind, am a divine being of light. We goddesses are the maternal protectors of the corporeal world. We are summoned forth when an inhabitant of that world, such as yourself, is in need of guidance. You're made up of light? Does that mean you don't have parents? Goddesses have always been and always will be. Our lives are not linear like your own. Now then, as I have told you a little bit about myself, would you allow me the same honor? Tell me about yourself, young one. Oh, me? I'm Ophelia. I live at home in Michigan with my parents, go to school, and like to read. And your parents? Tell me about them, child. They're nothing special. My mom's really nice. You remind me of her, actually. And your father? He likes to read me bedtime stories. He always tells me I'm his little pixie. It's been a pleasure meeting you, but I really just want to go home. Can you tell me how to get back? Of course. To find the answer you seek, you must drink from the Pond of Knowledge. It lies high atop Mount Vale at the summit of the Wolf located at the far end of the world. But be warned, young Ophelia, for your journey there will be long and perilous, and you will face many obstacles along the way. Why is the top of Mount Vale called the Summit of the Wolf? Why are you named Ophelia? Why is this place called the Garden of Youth? Why is anything given a name, young one? The label matters not. It is the destination itself that you must seek. You mentioned a pond of knowledge. What is that? The Pond of Knowledge is the splash that awakens a sleeping child. It is the mist that lifts the veil of ignorance, the wave that fuels one into action. It is a place that too few have been to, and from which no one can ever return. I've never been on a mountain before. Where is this Mount Vale? Far from here, I'm afraid. The mountain lies near Scarwood Keep, home to King Elo and the human empire on the other end of the world. How to get there, I do not know. You said I'm going to face many obstacles on my journey. What should I expect? I wish I could say, my child, but only time will tell. One thing is certain, when you get there, you will never be the same again. But I'm not sure where to start. If I'm going to go on such a journey, I'm going to need help. And so you shall have it. Follow your guardian, Ophelia, the White Wolf, for she shall be your guide. The White Wolf? Wolves are sacred creatures. They appear to those who are lost and help to guide them. Not necessarily where they want to go, but where they need to. But I don't see any wolves. 
In order to follow a wolf, you must first summon one. How do I summon a white wolf? The same way you would summon any animal, present it with a gift. What kind of gift? Wolves are passive creatures, unless threatened. They eat animals of the sea, and so a fish might suffice. Why does the wolf I summon have to be white? Why not black or gray? The color of a wolf's coat can change based on the mood of the person who looks upon it. As one's emotions darken, so too does the wolf's coat. Given your youth and innocence, your guide's coat will be as you yourself feel inside, white and pure. Thank you for your guidance, Adina. I'm going to look around. Good luck, my child. I will continue to watch over you while you summon your guardian. Remember, you are not alone. Waking. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what happened to me or where I am. I remember falling asleep in my bed, the same bed I always sleep in. I remember pulling the violet comforter over my body for extra warmth against the cold house air. And then when I opened my eyes, I wasn't in my bedroom anymore. I was in a beautiful forest, flying and basking in colorful light. It was warm, healing. I'm not quite me anymore. I have elven ears, and I feel somehow lighter, as if stones have been removed off my back. And this garden, it's the most beautiful I've ever seen. Then I met her, Adina. She said she is a goddess, and that this is the Garden of Eternity. She informed me that I am a pixie, which explains the ears. I feel comforted by her presence, and I somehow know that I can trust her. Adina told me that I have a perilous journey ahead of me. I must travel to the summit of the wolf and drink from the pond of knowledge. I have no idea what this means, but I know that I have to do it. It's this feeling that I can't shake, but it doesn't mean that I'm not confused about all of this. Adina said my first step is to summon a white wolf with a fish, and that the wolf will guide me to my destination. Now, if I could only remember the fishing trips I used to take with my Uncle Pete when I was little. The Garden of Eternity, a mystical Eden-like environment that is home to the goddesses, the Garden of Eternity is surrounded by a flowing white mist, giving the whole area a surreal dreamlike feel. The centerpiece of this garden is a large pond known as the Pond of Youth. Only the purest may enter into the Garden of Eternity, and those who do are instantly filled with feelings of peace and contentment. Goddesses. Goddesses are divine beings of light that manifest themselves as mother figures in the corporeal world. They have magical abilities and appear when a lesser being is in need of spiritual guidance. Highly nurturing, goddesses provide both comfort and unconditional love. Though they attempt to guide, they never direct or take action, and they have the tendency to speak in riddles. tree is beautiful. I wish I had the time to climb it. Yes, child? I'm having some trouble, Adina. No, child. Though I am aware of everything that goes on, 
I will not help you. Only you can help yourself. The water is crystal clear. The mountains are quite majestic, despite the haze. This stump looks like a good spot to place the fish. Tempted to jump in and swim. Maybe this button will only open the alcove if I set each lever to a certain position first. This looks like the perfect spot to fish. If I'm going to catch a fish, I'll need some bait. inside this bucket. That bird picked the perfect tree to build her nest. This gateway looks ancient. I can feel energy resonating from its doorway. Sometimes during recess at school, the boys pull back the branches of a tree and whip them at me. I don't understand how they can be so mean. I would never hurt a tree like that.
one. Now to pull it out. Gotcha! Feeling rather foolish, I placed the stinky fish upon the large stump and waited. My guardian spirit. I managed to summon my guardian spirit, a white majestic wolf. She's breathtakingly beautiful. I know that I have to follow her if I am to complete my journey. Funny, I've always been drawn to wolves. There's something magical about them. They mate for life and always seem so wise, like they know something about the world that we don't. I've never liked how wolves are depicted in fairy tales as vicious beasts. I don't see them that way at all. There's more to wolves in their territorial nature. They probably don't trust us as much as we don't trust them. They are just misunderstood. If I follow this wolf, I'm sure my journey will continue, but I have no idea what lies ahead. The unknown has always frightened me, but I know, just somehow know, that despite the sickness I feel in my stomach, I must go on. Waking. Oh my gosh! I The Seska Flatlands. The Seska Flatlands are a large open plain bordered by a series of rolling hills. Aside from wildlife, they are largely unpopulated, though pixie hunters often wander about in search of wild game. The Flatlands are a peaceful, neutral land and are considered unclaimed territory by all established civilizations. Warm and inviting, the Flatlands serve as a central hub to the Garden of Eternity, Circlewood Forest, and the Caves of the Forgotten. Wolves. Wolves are mystical guardians that appear... The edge of that rock sure looks sharp. I don't suppose one of those peaks is the summit of the wolf. No, that would be too easy. Excuse me, sir? Please leave me. I wish to be alone. This reminds me of the time I went camping with my dad. It was just the two of us. A 
According to this sign, Circlewood Forest lies to the east. That is one big... It's a nice little fire. I feel like I'm being watched. So many rocks! At least I'll have plenty of options if I ever need a rock. The trees are denser here. This part of the forest must be old. The trees are so dense in that direction that it would be too dark to see without some form of light. As much as I like spiders, I don't want to risk crossing that stream. When I was younger, I tried to bite into an acorn and lost one of my baby teeth. It could have been worse. I recently learned in school that raw acorns are poisonous. The water is crystal clear. Nothing like the pools back home. My guardian spirit. I managed to summon my guardian spirit, a white majestic. These trees are younger than the others I've seen. More rocks. Oh dear, group want to talk. Ophelia. And would you mind telling us what you're doing here, Ophelia? I'm following a white wolf. It just passed that cave mouth. Wolf? I didn't see any wolf. Did you see one reap? No, see. See, there's no wolf! Only scions may enter the caves of the Forgotten! Pixie's not allowed. Too dangerous. Now, scram! Bye-bye. Excuse me, but... What are scions? 
What are scions? Are you kidding me? Is she kidding me, Reap? Pixie not kidding. We're scions, Missy! Not that your kind cares! You hunt us for sport! Many die. Does that answer your question? And only scions may pass into this cave? That's right! Do you see this chain around my neck? It's the chain of Lan Or! Do you know what that means? No. It means that I've been elected Guard Supreme! It means that it's my duty to prevent non-scions from passing into this cave! Are you willing to make an exception? Only the village elder can make that kind of decision! And where do I find the village elder? In Kisiko Village, our home in Circlewood Forest! But he doesn't trust non-scions, so you're out of luck! Not if Scion vouch for her! Shut up, Reap! But Mo dear. I said shut up! Ignore what he said, girl! There's no way for you to enter Kisiko Village! No way for you to talk to the Elder! And no way to pass! Sorry, girly. It's beautiful. Those are some big rocks. Those are some big rocks. I've never smelled a tree quite like this one before. It's not an unpleasant scent. My guardian spirit. wants to be left alone. This reminds me of the time According to this It sure looks heavy.
That music. It's coming from the north. It's coming from down there. I dropped my hands and knees and crept to the edge of the precipice, eager to see what awaited below. It was the Scions! Halt! You are no Scion. You do not belong here. Intruder! A pixie spy has infiltrated our village. You, come with me. The scion led me down a long and winding path. Before I knew it, I stood in the center of the village. Why have you interrupted our sacred dance, Payne? I found this pixie scout spying upon our ritual. It is a prelude to attack. Her people plan to wage war. You stand accused, pixie. What say you in defense? I would never harm your people, and I know nothing of any plans for war. I seek only to speak with your village elder, for I am on an important quest. I am Elder Zed of the Scion people. You may speak, Pixie. To complete my journey, I must enter the caves your people guard. I humbly request permission for safe entry. I must protest. Only Scions may enter the Caves of the Forgotten. Her very presence here is an insult to our gods. I am inclined to agree. Leave us, Pixie. Forget you ever found this place, lest we be forced to take drastic action. Have we become so cowardly, Elder? that we now fear a harmless child. Rolic, you have been excommunicated. You are not allowed inside our village. I am still Scion Pain. I shall leave once my voice is heard. This pixie is of no harm to you. I've watched her. She emerged from the Garden of Eternity. She knows nothing of her people. Her soul is pure. Her people are dangerous, Rollick. We buried one of their hunters in the forest just last moon. Will you vouch for this pixie, Rollick? I will. So be it. Elder, this is absurd. We cannot just... Silence, pain. Our vow is sacred. The pixie is free to wander our village, so long as she remains peaceful. Do you understand this law, girl? Yes, sir, I do. Then it is settled, everyone. Return to your home. This pixie is under my protection. Do her no harm. You will be safe here. Come find me at my camp in the Seska Flatlands if you wish to talk. At that, the Scions walked back to their homes, and I was free to explore their village. It is 
good of you to come, Pixie. We do not often welcome outsiders into our village. Please forgive Payne for his rude introduction. He is a suspicious scion by nature. I believe that over time, you will find us to be a warm and friendly people. Now, tell me, are you enjoying your stay in our village? I am, sir, very much. I am glad to hear it. To be honest, I really need to enter the Caves of the Forgotten. The guards at the entrance will only allow me to enter with your permission. Would you be willing to grant me that access, Elder Zen? Do you see the scepter to my right, young pixie? It has been passed down from village elder to village elder for nine centuries. Possessing it means that I am responsible for my people. Only scions may enter the caves of the Forgotten. Normally, the same could be said of this village. But, roll up vouch for you. Do you know what this means, young one? I'm afraid I don't. It means that Roland must take responsibility for your actions. If you were to do something wrong, it is Roland that would be punished. But the Scion's vow is sacred. We trust in Roland's promise that you mean us no harm. That is why you are welcome to walk our village, despite the animosity between our peoples. I am willing to grant you access to the Caves of the Forgotten. But in the tradition of my people, you must first earn my trust by carrying out a task equal to your request. Our favorite pastimes are music and dance. All scions own their own hand-carved instrument. It is our rite of passage. Craft the fruit and play me a tune, and I will grant you access to the Caves of the Forgotten. I saw the Elder carrying this earlier. I think it's called a buckler. I wonder what he's brewing. Ew! There's fish inside this barrel, and they stink! That table looks old. <laughs> 